So Tim told me, Tim told me yesterday that somebody would have had it. So do you? No, no. no. Do you have any? Right, no, you haven't got any messages yet. No. Right. of one of the other ones so the uh, police beats the people the people beat the politicians and the politicians beat the police so if they're the police and we're the people we have to run away okay and if they're the politicians and we're the police then we have to run away so basically if you just want to join in you can just do what everybody else in the group does first of all yeah so you join in on this side and when they run away run as fast you as you can, can. Side, no no you've got to run back this way because this is your safe line this is where we're safe 
so you've got to try and get past this line. So if they start running towards us and these people start running away, then run as fast as you can. And you all look like quite fast runners. Yep, or we'll run over here. No, no, run over here. Run back to your safe base, so it's like home here. Oh! Yeah? Yeah, no. And so you look like fast runners, so we want to keep you on our team. So make sure you run really fast, yeah? Okay, yeah. you, you've got your tent? Yeah, uh, no, I've left it in Dalton. Thank <laughs> you. 
This train was for a new train to the next stop is Westbury and change the stations towards Beckton and London City Airport. When leaving the train, please remember to take all your belongings with you. People who are going to watch, tune in tonight. Where are we going now? Uh, we're just heading from Greenwich Station to the site, which we believe is part of Greenwich Park. It's all very exciting. We're going to have really beautiful views of London. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited to see what's going to be there. It's going to be great. So, did you know where we were going from Stockwell? No. I've, I've been uh, get, being fed information gradually, and uh, finally, we looks like we're getting to where we were aiming for. Right, so it's what do you make of using phones as a kind of an activist tool and using this sort of Twitters and social networks? I think, judging by my experience today, it's been working really well for us um, and definitely maintains an element of excitement, which I've quite enjoyed. I felt a little bit like a treasure hunter. And uh, the big prize being the camp. <laughs> so the people who have never been to a climate camp before, what would you say to them? Uh, they should come along. There's going to be a, like a list of amazing workshops. They're all on the website which I'm ridiculously excited about. Um, and yeah, there's going to be some really beautiful music happening. It's just lots of fun and really accessible events. And it's Greenwich Park, so don't have far to go. Brilliant.
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. I don't know, I'm just not convinced yet, really. Oh, like, oh, the cards, I mean, I've, I've hidden cards in my bum before. Yeah. You have to go in. They'll, they'll just oh, I'm sit. convinced I convinced like, <laughs> about it on tape. <laughs> A lot more comfortable. The most. <laughs> We can see the city, the skyscrapers gleaming in the distance. This is common land. It belongs to all of us. But also this place has over 600 years tradition of radical dissent and protest. In the 14th century, Wat Tyler, who was the leader of the Peasants' Revolt, gathered here with 50,000 people to march on the city of London to protest against the unjust political and economic system that was oppressing ordinary people. Today, we're going to follow in their footsteps. We're going to have a campers revolt. <laughs> so, why are we here? Well, we're here because this year we've seen how disastrous our political and economic system really is. Because we know that we can't leave it up 
to the politicians, the bankers and the corporations to dictate their false solutions to climate change, like carbon trading, which does not work. It does not reduce emissions. We know that to fight climate change effectively, ordinary people have to get together and do it themselves. And that is what the camp is all about. So we are all part of the fastest growing, the most exciting, the most effective, the most damn beautiful movement probably on the planet today. <laughs> this year there are climate camps in Wales, in Scotland, in Ireland, in France, in Germany, in Belgium, in Denmark, in Finland, in the Ukraine, in South Korea, in India, in New Zealand, and in Ecuador. How incredible is that? <laughs> this movement is really changing the world. Um, so we're about to start a week where we create the world that we want to see. We're going to live together, we're going to make consensus decisions together, we're going to learn about climate change together, and we're going to take action together. Are you up for a bit of action? Yeah. But before we do that, we've got a lot of compost toilets to build. Let me hear a hurrah for taking action. Hurrah. Let me hear a massive cheer for getting climate... Now. Light crew will give a more detailed uh, kind of a job shop, so if people are looking for things to do, the site crew will help them with that. So, there it is, that Sophia just made of the site, and you can find your neighborhood there, or you can find it by walking around and seeing the little stakes with your neighborhood's name. Mark three will be doing that next. Um, and then there's a whole bunch of various uh, that um, every hour, on the hour, um, people can come um, to the black... Many things close, but I'm not that sort of That's true. 